Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to talk about what is the best way to apply the foundation with brush, sponge or your fingers. I decided to do this video after doing my courses with women all over the world. One of the most asked questions is Andrea, what is the best way to apply my foundation with? So this video is just going to clarify this subject for those of you interested in this. So before we get into this video, please make sure that you've subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the ring bell button. Thank you so much if you've already done that. Now let's get into this video. There are three main techniques that you could apply your foundation with, okay? You could apply it with your fingers, you could apply it with a brush, or you could apply it with a sponge. You can take the same foundation, apply it in these three different ways, fingers, brush, or sponge, and you will see that the result is different. With the fingers is the most natural. With the brush, it adds some coverage. It builds the foundation onto the skin. And then with the beauty blend, it really builds up the product so you can make it um, very full coverage, even if the, the foundation is not as uh, high coverage. There is no better way to apply foundation. It all depends on the foundation coverage that you would like to achieve. And sometimes it also depends on your skin type. So let's start with the fingers. Applying the foundation with your fingers is the easiest way, the most hygienic way, and it's also the most natural way of applying foundation. So for example, if you're having a very fluid foundation, let's just say, what do I have in here? Uh, the Luminous Silk. Luminous Silk is a very, from Giorgio Armani, it's a very liquidy foundation, pretty lightweight, and I find this product to be perfect to be applied with your fingers because, first of all, it's a pretty expensive product, so you don't want to waste anything in a brush or in a sponge. Second of all, it's that kind of foundation that will not leave any marks. You know, sometimes there are foundation that when you touch the skin with it, it leaves like a like a mark, just doesn't blend well with your fingers. Not with this kind of foundation, not with the Dior, for example, the Dior foundation. So these work the best to be applied with your fingers. If you have a thicker foundation, if we're talking about the NARS, for example, the NARS foundation, natural radiant longwear foundation. If we are talking about the forever foundation from Dior, these foundations are a little bit more creamy. So with these ones, I would prefer to use a brush or a sponge, but preferably a brush. With a brush, you kind of tend to really buff the foundation into the skin, have a have an even layer with a little bit more coverage. So when it comes to the brush, I prefer to apply foundations with a brush that are a little bit more like on the cream side, like the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, like the Forever Foundation from Dior, like Sheer Glow, like Il Maquillage, these are a little bit more creamy. So I think that spreading them with the fingers just takes a little bit longer. And I feel like it does not do justice to these foundations to be applied with your fingers. Of course, it's going to do the job, but it's not the same thing. Now, of course, it depends on the foundation brush. I prefer brushes that are a little bit round so that I can really buff the foundation into the skin. I do not prefer foundation brushes that are flat. Those are usually for building up the product and they act a little bit more like the beauty blender. With this type of foundation, and I put this in a different category because it's very thick. So Huda Beauty Foundation, it's a very thick foundation. So for this one in particular, feel the need of using a more dense brush. Like, it's not clean, but I hope you can forgive me for this one. This is a very, very good brush. It's very dense. As you can see, it's still round. I still like this shape, but it's a little bit more dense, so it really helps spreading the product because, like I said, this is quite thick. 
Il Maquillage. This is the 100 foundation blending brush. And then this is the Misa 12S brush. Now, when do you actually need the Beauty Blender or do you need the Beauty Blender? If you want to get the most out of the Beauty Blender, first of all, you need to know that you need to wet, to get it wet before you use it. You need to, to use it damp. So literally put it under the water, squeeze it a few times, you'll see it's going to double its size and then use the Beauty Blender to apply your foundation. And this way it's not going to soak up all of your product. Sometimes you see people taking their foundation from their hand with the Beauty Blender applying it on the face. That is the most coverage that you could possibly get from you know using the fingers brush and sponge so to answer your question there is really no better way or best way of applying your foundation it really depends on the product and also depends on finish that you want to achieve you want more full coverage you want more medium coverage or you want super light coverage I told you that it also depends on your skin I find that with very mature skin now that's I'm generalizing, I shouldn't do that. But from my experience, if I have a client that is over 60, 55, 60 years old, I wouldn't wanna use a beauty blender. It just builds up the product on her skin. And the older we get, our skin becomes thinner and thinner. And that's why, you know, you, you get to see the wrinkles so much easier. So if I were to choose, I would rather use my fingers or my brush to apply the foundation. Of course, if you are 16 and, and you've, you've only got some pimples on your face and you need foundation, you can use whatever the heck you want because the texture of your skin and the quality of your skin is going to help you regardless of what you're using. We're starting to really you know, be picky and see a difference, you know, after 30, that's when you're like, nah, this, this, this really doesn't work for me anymore, you know? I've seen a lot of women using the Beauty Blender like, like this, you know, and it's not the way I would use it. That doesn't mean it's not right, um, but it's not how I would use it. I think you're not getting the most out of your Beauty Blender if you're using it like that. First of all, if you're using your Beauty Blender like this, there are big chances for you to have a little holes in your beauty blender because you know you're you're kind of being aggressive with it. <laughs> the right way to use your beauty blender is by bouncing it by tapping it like this onto the skin, you know, building the product. I hope this video was informative. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, that you clicked on the ring bell button. If you want to see more videos like this, follow me on Instagram, ask me questions in there, DM me. I love to get your messages. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.